Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily. I'm a mum of five and in today's video I am just sorting, organising, cleaning up and sort of semi-decorating and moving around my girls' nursery. Um, can't really think what to kind of what to call this video, kind of just doing a bit of everything. So as you can see at the minute, I first went into the room, I wanted to get everything put away. I just put in some clean laundry away. Now I'm putting all the toys back onto the shelves that they've pulled off in the morning when they get out of their beds. Um, yeah, my two-year-old and my one-year-old both share this room and they can both get out of their beds now. So uh, in the mornings, if I don't come down quick enough, they make a nice big mess for me. So that's always fun. I used to have um, nice organised shelves, now I just shove the toys on any which way because by tomorrow they will all have changed around anyway. I wanted to get the floor nice and cleaned up, everything put away. You've probably seen me in other videos sorting out these puzzles before. It is a tedious, tedious job. And today I just didn't feel like doing it. So I put all of the, what would you call them? Like wooden ram things onto the long stick that you can see there. And I think I put all of the puzzle pieces into a bag all together. Um, I'll put them into that basket and then put all of the bases of the jigsaws together so that when they want to do it they can just get all the pieces out and put them on and it just saves me a job because doing that every single morning is tedious i'll tell you that so today was a day where i was just like do you know what i'm just not doing it and i forgot a little bee down there oh there's local azzy in her cot she was up with me while i was tidying so the main reason for this sort around of the room was that I brought the girls a teepee. So this is me attempting to build it with Azzy in the room with me. She can get on and off a bed by herself and she's chose to hang out in the bed. I'm not sure why she was acting like she can't get out. She knows how to get to, yeah, there you go. <laughs> she must have just been playing. But yes, putting this teepee together seemed like such an easy job. I was like, yeah, no problem. I'll do that piece of, you know, there's Bobo. Um, but in reality, building this teepee was not so easy. I had it up to this point, threading the poles in. That was nice and easy. And this is me pondering the instructions and in a second you will literally see me give up and you will cut to a clip of another time because I just had to quit this video. I was just like, right, camera off. <laughs> I cannot do this. Um, I had to get Luke to help me with building the TP. Despite mine and Azzy's best attempts, we just could not get this thing together. This is sped up and I edited a lot out, but I kid you not, I was sat here for what seemed like hours. The light was going, you can see that it's getting dark outside. And there's like an orangey light on me from the artificial lights inside. And, oh yeah, at this point I'm attempting to poke the ribbon through with a skewer. Oh, and I also pulled off one of those ribbons and that is when I officially gave up. But although Luke had to end up putting it together for me, I didn't want my footage to go to waste of all the hard work I put in. So here I am trying and miserably failing.
Right, so Luke put the GP together for me and I wanted to film me decorating it, however, it just didn't go to plan. So I'll walk you through what I've got on it. So I've got some lace on it, which I picked up from Amazon and those bought those pom-poms, which I picked up off Amazon. Um, a square TP mat, again, Amazon and a round TP mat, which I got from Amazon, all of which I will link down below. Um, I also got some flowers off of Amazon, but when they arrived, they were really, really small, so I didn't end up using them. I used a bunch of artificial flowers, which the girls already had on one of their shelves, which I'll get down in a minute, you'll see me do. Um, so unfortunately, I can't link them. I decided that we wanted the teepee next to the cot so I went ahead and started to move Snowy's bed around and went under there and cleaned all the skirting boards behind where the bed had been because they were quite dusty because they hadn't been cleaned in a very very long time. As he's got no trousers on I'm not sure why and they both wanted the Doc Martens on. Um, <laughs> this is real life. Me in my pyjamas and being harassed by the two girls while I'm attempting to decorate. So quickly before I moved the teepee over, I gave the carpet a nice hoover down so that it wasn't going down on any like little bits and stuff. The carpet wasn't too bad, but it's always good to keep it clean. So this is the square mat that I was talking about. It's like I searched in teepee, teepee mat and this one came up. And then I also wanted a nice round one. I have since changed the mat so the grey is on the top because for some reason I just feel like that looks a bit better. And then the contrasting pink circle one on the top. Um, so in my latest videos, like after this one, you'll probably see how I've turned it around. Um, I just felt like that looks better, but it is like two ways. You can have one side pink or one side grey, depending on which one you want facing upwards. And I went ahead and moved Snowy's bed onto the other wall on the other side. I'm not sure if I like this setup. However, I do think the TP definitely looks a lot better on that side of the room. I have as well since steamed both of these mats because they did look really rather creased. So I steamed them to get all the creases out and it does look so much nicer now. And that is also when I decided to put the gray side facing upwards. The girls have got loads of cute cushions in their room so I went ahead and decorated it. I didn't purchase any new cushions just because they have so many and it kind of gets like changed around each day anyway as the girls are playing in there. So the cushions and the toys that are in there varies but they absolutely loved it. It's like a little play den for them. I was just attempting to make it look pretty inside. Don't really know why I bothered because within 0.5 seconds the girls had gone in and took like 10 teddies in there with them and throwing the cushions out and just got all up in there and had some fun. So, but for the sake of this video, I put in some bunnies. I think right now I've only got um, the, I've got three cushions in there. What The cloud cushion, the rainbow cushion, which were both from H&M Home and um, another cushion which says all things grow with love and that was also from H&M. So the Dreamcatcher is the Dreamcatcher which I've had for ages which I got from the range. Every time I go in the range I do see something very similar so you might be able to pick one up from the range but like I said the flowers are just some that I had for the girls anyway. I think they were from like Home Bargains or something ages ago like at Easter. Um, 
so yeah just got that off their shelf and popped that on the top and I think it worked really really well I think it looks really cute and kind of like a boho vibe um, in Snowy's old nursery she had loads of canvases and prints on the walls that I have yet to put on the walls so I decided to hang one up to see what it would look like and I think that looks really cute there and so this is the overall look like I said I have steamed the mat since and it does look so much better the nursery is still a work in progress I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with it but so far I'm thinking it looks really sweet especially with the new addition of the teepee we're just giving you a little overview of what the nursery currently looks like if you have any ideas of anything like that that I should do please let me know because I'm kind of at a loss with what to do with the girls room although it is very sweet so like I said I will link the things that I brought off Amazon down below if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in the next one peace